Today I'm going to be giving you guys my best tips and tricks on how to play Aletta, who is the most difficult hero to play in all of T3 Arena, but because of that, she also has the highest skill ceiling. So we're just going to dive straight into this. My very first tip is do not be absorbed by her kit. The reason why Aletta is so extremely difficult to play is that her whole kit is really distracting, allowing you to stack up three hollow dashes, you got a double jump passive ability, all of this extra movement and shiftiness, but yet her gun only has 20 shots per chamber in each gun, so the ammo runs out very, very quickly. And with this game being auto fire based, or even if you played without auto fire, the more you move, the harder you are to hit, but at the same time, the harder it is for you to hit your shots, so you're really just doing all this dancing and twirling and dealing out no damage. So do not get distracted by her kit and use her abilities wisely, which leads me straight into my second tip of gunplay first, finesse second. If you're a beginner Aletta player, if you want to learn how to master her to the fullest of her ability, make sure you use your dashes only when you are reloading or after you get locked on by the enemy. If you watch a lot of my Aletta gameplay, as you guys are going to see in today's video as well, I don't actually ever use my dashes unless I am reloading or getting locked on by that enemy. Because when an enemy locks on to you, now you have a very good reason as to why you want to dash out because a lot of the other characters in this game do have more dps than the aletta especially since their gun has more sustained damage so using those dashes to mess up their aim if they are out aiming you is a very very good tip if they're not out aiming you and you have a very good angle i will not pop any of those dashes i'll just stand in the same spot laser them down by the time they figured out that i'm looking at them and they start to turn and then maybe land their first two shots now i've dashed and once again, they have to reset their aim, which makes you very, very hard to hit. Now, another tip here is that her ultimate does give her two different play styles. I find that the two play styles with Aletta is either going to be the flashy close range trickster or the sustained close to mid range user, which is the style that I personally like to see. But regardless of which ultimate you use here, her gun auto reloads after you use the ultimate. So you can actually use this to maximize damage by using all of the ammo in your gun. And as soon as you run out, pop your ultimate because that'll give you a full stack of ammo. And when using like the, the hollow burst, for example, it gives you unlimited ammo. So you can get the real damage of the main gun, pop the ultimate, and then you have all this unlimited ammo. And when you come out of the ultimate, you have now a fresh clip of ammo, so you have this extremely long chain of bullets. But let's break down the two different styles of gameplay here first. So the flashy close range trickster is what everybody wants to be because playing as an Aletta, you get all these crazy plays, outplays, trickery, your opponent looks lost, breaking their ankles. It's very good for all of that. But the reason why you have to use the decoy bomb while using this playstyle is you are going to be in the face of your opponent for a majority of the fight. You want to play up close. That's where you get most of your damage. And then while you're in front of them, if you dash behind them and you know you're going to do that, they do not. So another thing with this hero is if you're going to play this close range style, you need to have a higher sensitivity because if you dash past them, you have to do a whole 180 to get your aim back onto them. It's not going to work if you have that low sensitivity. So dash back, dash back, dash back, and then use the ultimate, the decoy bomb, only when you absolutely need to. The only time that you wanna like engage with a decoy bomb or pop it off preemptively is if the entire enemy team is standing together in a group because the at the end of the day, the decoy bomb is an AOE ability and you can find some crazy value if you use that decoy bomb and hit all three of the enemies. But outside of that, you should use it when you've misplayed or your enemy is just frying you down. You're almost down to one HP. That is a very good time to pop that ability and then start to use your dashes to make yourself harder to hit because they can still hit you when you go invisible. But luckily, she does have that initial HP restore and you should have plenty of health to stay alive. But once you've used that ability there, another thing you have to keep in mind with the decoy bomb is the enemy can still hear you. So if you're using it to get away, don't try to just, you know, run right next to the enemy as if they can't hear you. They're going to hear the footsteps, look directly at you, and a lot of the really good players will start to shoot. So if you're using it to get out, get all the way out. Don't even worry about anything else. Get all the way out of the gunfight. But if you are using it as a trickery, maybe you use it to engage, or even if you were low health, and you know, a lot of the letters stay in the decoy bomb, they pop it, and then they just run away completely. 
What you can do is at one HP, do a ballsy ego child play, which is where you pop your ultimate. And when you are in the decoy bomb, when you're invisible, you can actually come out of being invisible before the entire decoy bomb finishes by clicking your shoot button. So a lot of the times you'll see players do is they'll go invisible, land the decoy bomb, maybe shift over a step and then start shooting right away because the enemy is probably going to think, oh, he's not going to come back out. She's gone from the scene. Let me look somewhere else. But really, you're still there and you're still landing all of these crazy shots. And another thing with the decoy bomb is you want to use it when you are directly on top of your enemy because the decoy bomb only goes off either after it makes contact or after like two or three seconds, it'll go off and anybody that's like close enough will take damage. That 2800 juicy damage though only happens with a direct hit. So if you are right on top of the enemy and you pop it off, it will immediately explode and you'll get that full 2800 onto the solo target. And then anybody that's nearby will get a little bit lesser damage, but they'll still get hit by that as well. Now, the other ultimate, which is the play style that I like more personally, is the Hollow Burst. And this is very good because you want to... I mean, you essentially get unlimited ammo, right? And you just get to lay down all of these bullets. So if I'm playing the Aletta more safe, I'm not really using her dashes. I'm sort of using her in that close to mid range. Then when using this ultimate, use it in high volume situations. Aletta's gun is still very good in a 1v1 situation. And ideally, if you're a better Aletta player, you're not going to need to pop your hollow burst for those 1v1s. You want to save it. There's two, three people there. You can get a tremendous amount of value by doing that because you just lay down the bullets and just continue to hammer it out. Another really good tip with the Hollow Burst is you are a very, very fast Aletta. She's already a fast hero in general, but you're even faster when you pop this Hollow Burst. So make sure you're using that to your advantage by strafing either side to side or even just running in a straight line because you're going to be moving very fast for most players. It'll be extremely hard for them to track you. So if you want to throw in some Hollow Dashes in there, you can. But me personally, normally when I have my ultimate popped, I'm healing at the same time. So I won't even need my Hollow Burst. I'll just continue to strafe make the adjustments with my fingers, and then I'll be able to do out, you know, deal out all of that crazy damage. And then finally, you can use that same hollow burst to get you out of sticky situations because you do get that extreme speed. So maybe you need to get behind cover really quickly because you're one HP, you'll get that initial 1400 HP restore, and then you can just dash and hide right away behind a corner. And then of course the double jump, we talked a little bit about this earlier, but the double jump, the dashes, if you wanna be like an extremely high skill, high level Aletta player, you want to weave both of these in. So let's say you're reloading, you dash, dash. They lock onto you, dash, jump. You can mix all of those in, but make sure you're really good at readjusting your aim because at the core of this hero, if you do not have good aim, you will be in big trouble because not only do you have to have that good aim, now you have to have that good aim and be really good at readjusting that aim when the dashes and the double jump throws you off. And another thing for the double jump, the only time I really use this is to get me into those high areas to where I can set up some unique flank routes from where the opponent might not expect me. And even if it's not like a flank, there are some areas on different maps where you can just sit on the high ground and just like in Spider-Man, they never look up. When it comes to the best team comps for Aletta, the number one thing you want to look for is a tank and a mid-range user. The reason why this team comp works the best is that as an Aletta, you're going to be going for a lot of flanks, you're going to be out of the picture, so the tank and the mid-range user have to be good enough to handle themselves in a 2v3 situation while you are setting up your plays. So for that duo comp, I like to either see a Ruby and a Sindri. If we're playing on like a, you know, longer range map to where there's more wide angles, the Sindri bot is just incredible. And Ruby herself with the shield and with the gun being out can handle herself in those 2v3 situations. But if you are playing on a closer range map, you can also go with like a Jabali and a Gloria because Gloria herself can hard carry extremely hard with her damage. And then Jabali, of course, can absorb so much damage and really just give her the pathway to lay down all of that fire. Now, when it comes to the maps and game modes, by me believing that Aletta is the best hero in the game, I also truly believe that there is not a single bad game mode or map for the hero. It comes down to your individual skill level. Now, I will say though that the bigger the map is, the harder it'll get to play Aletta because you have to be better at setting up those flanks, getting close enough to your opponent to find all of that value. And sometimes it might take your dashes to do so. So if you're using a lot of the dashes to get to your opponents, you might not have enough dashes to do some outplays and to get out of sticky situations. So for that, keep that in mind. If you're a very good at let up, play on any map. But for like the harder maps, we might think like payload escort because the map is so long 
especially if you're playing on the defensive end on offense it's kind of good but playing on the defense can be a little bit tricky or even if we look at like mm, i would say payload or crystal assault playing on like energy canyon there's a lot of really long range angles and you might not be able to get close enough to deal damage to those heroes so keep playing her on the small maps if you become very good you can still find value on the big maps just understand you have to be a really really good aletta player but without further ado now let's hop into the gameplay in control i also do like the explosion here just because everyone's sort of forced and confined onto the same area so being able to i drop in behind them here nope Oh, wait, what's happening, bro? I dropped down and Christina's in the perfect spot to, like, flank me, bro. Like, she's in the perf- like, in the perfect spot to just be waiting for me to drop. That's insane. Oh, they're running a Hual Ling troll. No matter what you tell me, that's- that's troll, bro. I won't hear anything else, like, in control. I, for real, like, I haven't even seen her yet, bruh. Like, I haven't even seen her yet, bro. Like, I see her arrows coming in, but that's all she can do. Because, look, you got to come play the point, you get pieced up. <laughs> Oh, playing that hero in this game mode is troll. Your team is halfway to victory. Playing her in that game mode is troll. Too troll <laughs> is too troll, bro. I'd be so pissed. If she's on my team. I'd be so pissed. Got that shot off fire enough to hit it. <laughs> it's the fun part, dying. That's the fun part. <laughs> That's the fun part. Your life must be miserable, my boy. <laughs> Don't choose that hero in my game, bro. Okay, so we're playing here on attack. I am actually running the uh, the hollow. The hollow ability. I feel like on defense, the, the other one might be better. Because everybody's grouped up onto the, the payload. Oh, they're hugging each other. Okay. More than My girl's it. AFK. I'm gonna wait for Hualing. I am more than <laughs> Where's Hunter? Yeah. My job is gonna be to find and hunt him down. Nice. I didn't even need my ultimate there. I thought I was gonna have to be the one to re peek and kill him, but good from Hualing. Nice shell. <laughs> Holy catching an Aletta out of her dash. I would be so pissed. But yeah, my whole job is to just be obnoxious as the SMG hero. Just play up close. I did just realize we also have the shell. I think she changed last second in the pre pre pick screen. Oh, did they get through? My bad guys. Ultimate. 
All right, yeah, that's my fault. I went, I went like, I didn't think they got all the way through. I thought I could beat them and cut them off, but. Oh, they're taking that direction. I see. No. <laughs> she got the heal. That heal almost wanted her to fight. That would have been crazy. <laughs> No matter how much Hunter can see. Are we on the payload? We are. Okay. She wins that 1v1 for sure. Maybe not. I didn't realize it was against Aleta. We kind of left her hanging. We kind of left her hanging. My bad. Having a little battle. I can do like a little bit of damage over here, but I can't really help her. Can I get a heal? Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna have a healer. That's the other team. I'm tripping. <laughs> can I get a heal? <laughs> oh, yes. GG. Well played from the Hualing. My whole team right there actually I had, I had a very good team, so pleased with that. We've got an interesting matchup here. The thing is, Osas, my whole goal in this game is to just make his life miserable. He's gonna want to set up all day long. I'm gonna go for flanks. I am rocking the explosion ultimate. I think that the explosion ultimate is uh i think it's i think it's pretty good it's, it's eh. i mean either, to each their own right like sometimes i run it sometimes i don't but in this matchup it's gonna be really good against like a johnny jet it's gonna be really good for getting on that osos and disappearing you know so i'm gonna play it a closer play style <laughs> In her face. You gonna have to really come out of that. <laughs> Go. Sorry, He's healed it all the way up. All good. I'm not gonna worry, really worry too much about Johnny. Let me just go kill the players that I can kill for sure with ease. Nice shot. You are watching me the whole time. The fact that I let that dude live there is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, you thought, bro. <laughs> you thought. Ow. Cooked, bro. I was waiting for a good chance to land something like that.
I tried to land it on the O side. That's all I really wanted there. Did I actually tro I trolled. I trolled. I trolled. I missed. <laughs> Dude, I misjudged the dash distance twice. Oh my goodness. That's actually troll. I'm not gonna dash, I don't wanna make noise. Insane movement. You're chasing, but you got nothing to prove, brother. <laughs> you can't catch a letter, dog. What? Imagine I was able to kill him from there. GG's, I missed my ultimate though. <laughs> okay, what we got going on here, we do have... Uh, Jabali can be kind of toxic. He sort of nullifies a lot, but... Oh my gosh. I hear the Christina shots going off. Trying to get in the mix. Eventually, bro. Holy cow. You actually plan on just holding that and giving the kill up. Nice. Man, just plans on holding the shield and giving the kill up. I respect it. <laughs> As a scatty, when I tell you it's so hard to track, dude, and the letter going at full speed strafing. Clearly, my audio is off. I think she's above me. Domination, maybe. I gave that up. That's my fault. Gave that up. That's my fault, bro. If I died there, I would have been so pissed. No, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. 
Oh my goodness, Jabali spawns right next to me. Must be nice. It must be nice. Thank you for the spider web. Appreciate <laughs> I appreciate the spider web, bro.